Now let's look at functions that take a variable number of arguments. And uh, there's a term for that. It's called variadic function. So I'm going to create a new PHP file called variadic.php. And here's a simple example. So let's say I want to write a function like average. And I could give it two parameters like 1 and 2 and then calculate the average as average is equal to 1 plus 2 over 2 and then return average. So there's nothing wrong with this but what if I want to pass in three arguments? Well let's go ahead and add that extra argument then. So now it works, but what if we want four arguments? Well, I can keep adding arguments here. But now I need two for another function, so let me cut these back out. Well, I could create a separate function, one that took two arguments, and one that took three arguments, and one that took four arguments, and one that took five arguments, and so on. But what I really want here is a function that will take any number of arguments. And that's a variadic function. A function that takes any number of arguments is a variadic function. And uh, there's some new syntax in PHP 5.6 and up using dot 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 args. And then this args is going to be an array that has all the values that were passed in. So I can call return array sum of dollar sign args divided by count dollar sign args. So this dot 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 means any number of parameters, they all get stuck in an array, and then I'm taking the sum of those arguments and dividing by the count of the arguments. So let's try this. Average of 3, 4, 5, 6, and 10 is average of 3, 4, 5, 6, 10. And then we'll just do 3 and 4. And then we'll do one more. So add 100 in there. So let's go ahead and run this. I'm going to go to variadic.php. So that looks about right to me. 3.5 and 21.3. And so you 110, 116, 21. 125, 128, divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 128, so yeah, right around 21.333. Now, as I said, this only works for PHP 5.6 and up. But there was a mechanism for doing something similar in earlier versions of PHP as well. So what that looks like is I don't pass any parameters in. And I can get the array by calling the function func get args. And that does exactly the same thing as passing it in this way. So let's actually call it dollar sign args here. And then I'll do the same line of code. And I should get the same result. So let's call AVE2 and now we'll reload and we should get the same result. And we do. So these both work the same. Um, this is a little cleaner syntax but only works in new versions of PHP. Um, this is backwards compatible with older versions.
So you should probably use this one if you want to maintain backward compatibility.